Well, August 26th. The world is still in calm, nice, quiet Monday morning. Everyone's already off to work. I see a dredge. I see a. The dredges must be out. No, there's one dredge there, but they're already pulling, pulling a barge out. Soon the kids are going to be busy in the schoolyard at recess and and uh, early morning they're going to be going to school. And the boss will be happy to get back into school with her friends. Oh, that new leaf is opening up. That's a good sign. Let's Well, for every leaf, there's a root. So, uh, the more leaves, the merrier. And we do have some new, some new flowers opening this morning. Well, I'll point them out. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was getting color. That one's starting to. Oh, that one down there is open. Great big delicate flower petals. Throw them. They. Uh, I guess some people collect flowers just to put them in a dish and let them make a room smell nice. Oh, they got. One right there ready to open. If we keep plugging the water to the to these flowers and apple trees, they'll do fine. So all they need is a little attention and lots of water. Now if we get these ones here. Let me pull back here. Yeah, that stock is one, two, three, four. There's five, five more flowers on this stock. Right on this stock, there's five more flowers to fill out and open up. This one will open up soon. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful little garden. It's already beautiful. The flowers came out good. For, for every big stock that perished in the first three weeks, maybe a third of the total planting, the all the, uh, the other plants are making up for it by putting extra, extra flowers out. Let's go check out that far. This plot here. We get all kinds of oh my gosh, that's gonna be really colorful when they when they fill out. And there's an ant. I gotta let the ant if it would stay still the camera will focus. Come on. What are you doing? You're not after nectar. I don't know what you're after, Ant, but it sure isn't nectar.
are way down right there. There is a more laser of flower starting to come up there. Now there is a size in my hand compared to the flower. You know how big that flower is now. This, oh, look at this. A little beauty coming up. Oh. Oh, that, that, uh, that little girl, her, I said her, her, I said her plant had those twin flowers. These are it. This is her plant. She had twin flowers at the very top. And the, the, this is what you're coming out to. Beautiful. She'll love this. And there's one, two, three, there's four more flowers coming out on hers. That's, a, that's really nice. And uh, uh, this colorful one here, I don't know the name of it. It's a sunflower, but it's it's a different one. We got two two flowers in there ready to come out. And this one, this flower is still developing. Oh, it's going to be big when it's going to be big when it comes out. But all told, it is gorgeous. This was the best idea the teacher had for her kids. Planting a beautiful garden to welcome the, her kids and the other kids back to school again. And the apple trees, they will go into their gentle sleep over the winter and they will return fourfold next year. So next year I'm still going to be lugging water. The, the, those, these, these, the little apple trees that, that, that survived this year, they're going to stretch up nice and tall, but I'm probably going to plant one or two more little apple trees. It, uh, so that there's lots and lots of apples. There's no underneath that soil. It's just lawn. It's just just natural natural turf. So all the roots of these plants are going to go down through into the turf and into the soil underneath. That will give them their chance to uh, give the apple trees their chance to get a good hold and. And I will do another growth, uh, video growth record of them then. Uh, perhaps some more mothers and kids will help with the watering next year too. Uh, I consider I consider this year a, su a success. It certainly was.